Using either of the access technologies, we need a medium to carry the data in form of bits we are transmitting from a sender to a receiver. The sending and receiving happens by propagating electromagnetic waves or optical pulses through a physical medium. This physical medium could be copper, fiber, or radio spectrum. We can categorize the media into two main categories, guided media and unguided media. Guided media carry signals directed along a solid medium. Twisted pair copper wire is an example of guided media. In twisted pair copper wire, two insulated copper wires, each about one millimeter, are twisted together in a spiral pattern. They could be then shielded, meaning the pair wrapped in a protected shield or left unshielded. The figure shows a blue typical ethernet cable which is a shielded twisted pair copper wire. Twisted pair copper wire has traditionally been used for telephone network. It could be used for residential internet access and LAN access within a building. With the upgraded technology, it can achieve data rates up to 10 gigabits per second for distances up to 100 meters. And it still can provide support for LAN access. Quarksteel cable also has two copper conductors, but one of them is in the center and the other is twisted around it. Quarksteel cable is common in cable TV. It could be used as shared medium and it can reach up to tens of megabits per second. Fiber optic cables are also example of guided media. An optical fiber is a thin strain that conducts pulses of light. Each pulse represents a bit. Fiber optics are fast, high capacity, and fairly immune to electromagnetic interference, attenuation, and tapping. They can carry hundreds of gigabits per second for hundreds of kilometers. They are expensive, but they could be used for LAN or building access, as well as for long haul and overseas links. Bits can also be transmitted while waves propagate in the space, such as in a wireless LAN or a digital satellite channel. This is called unguided media, as the propagation of the signal in the physical medium is not directed. Radio channels carry electromagnetic signals. These signals can travel different ranges and propagate through different environments. However, environment will cause interference and fading effects while obstructed by going through or being reflected from different environments. We can categorize radio signals into two main categories, terrestrial channels and satellite channels. Terrestrial radio channels can also be categorized into three different groups based on the distance they can cover. Short range, for example a few meters, such as Bluetooth or Zigbee, that can be used for personal area networks. Local area technologies used in LANs, such as Wi-Fi, and wide area technologies, such as cellular network technologies. Satellite radio channels could be categorized into two main types, geostationary satellites, which permanently remain above the same spot on Earth, and low Earth orbiting satellites, which rotate around Earth. Low Earth orbiting satellites are among considered technologies for internet access.